Hi Taurus, welcome to your September 2022 tarot reading. I hope you guys are all doing amazing out there. Welcome to my channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. Now in today's reading, I'm gonna look at your romantic love life right now and see what your career and finances look like right now and see if your spirit guides have any specific messages for you. I'm gonna be using the Tarot of Dragons for all you tarot deck collectors out there. And just know Taurus, you're showing up as that dragon today. I'm gonna pull 11 cards, so let's begin. Spirit, please connect me to my beautiful Taurians for the entire month of September 2022. I would like to look at their love life, their career and finances, and any other messages you have for them. They are open-minded to the messages they are here to receive, as long as these messages are for their highest and greatest good. Two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this deck for Taurus. All right, Taurus, so first we're gonna take a look at the potential challenges you may encounter this month. We have the Six of Swords. Now, the Six of Swords is the energy of getting out of any sticky situations, coming out of any conflict with people, you know, just getting that relief. But when it's in the challenge position, you might still be in the eye of the storm in regards to a situation, and you're really struggling to make, make it out of it, okay? Whether that's fighting with a lover, or just feeling like you've hit some sort of roadblock with your finances where more is going out than coming in, or you're going through a huge change in your life where you feel like you're kind of lost on which direction to take and which path would be for your highest good. You could have Libra in your chart. All right, so what's your current energy right now? The Two of Cups. So right now your current energy is connecting to another person because the Two of Cups is all about strong soulmate connections. Um, this could be someone that you're romantically linked to or this could be a family member or a friend. It's just somebody that you have an emotional connection to and you have like a huge lesson to learn with each other. Okay, because soulmates come in our lives to help us grow and evolve. They can come in as friends, family members, mentors, you know, romantic loves. Um, it helps us. So you might be having some difficulties with a soulmate this month where you guys are not seeing eye to eye on something or you're, you're not able to move forward from some sort of obstacle together. We will see what's going on. What's your focus? The death card, Scorpionic energy. Right now you're focusing on the fact that there needs to be some serious changes within this connection. Whether it's ending the relationship and going on your separate ways together or seeing significant changes where you guys are able to resolve any um, issues that you guys may have. And since this, this is sword energy, I feel like the biggest issue between the two of you guys could be communication because swords connect to our thoughts and communication. And the five of swords goes right before the six of swords. So they're strongly showing me where you and another person were not like communicating effectively together, where you both understood where your head was at and what your feelings were. And it, it's creating some sort of challenge for the two of you, okay? But there is a lot of love between the two of you guys with that two of cups, but something is not working out in your favor right now and you wanna do something about it. All right, you're open to seeing something change. Now, who are the people that you're dealing with this month? This can be separate from your love life. This is your friends, family, coworkers, things like that. The Wheel of Fortune, wow. So they're showing me that there is a person in your life this month that was fated to be in your life and they're helping you get on your path in some way, okay? Because the Wheel of Fortune is all about destiny. So there's like something happening in September that is destined to take place and it's going to allow you to see some big, big changes, Taurus. All right, because the Wheel of Fortune um, makes things happen, takes things from being stagnant to sh shaking things up a bit. It's for your highest good. So yeah, you've got a very important person that is playing a pivotal role in your life this month. Now what does your spirit guides want you to focus on? And then I'll get into your love and career and money spread. What do they want you to focus on? The Hanged Man, Major Arcana for Pisces. So they want you to focus on getting uncomfortable with a situation to gain access to higher clarity, all right? Because the Hanged Man is that energy of being willing to sacrifice um, your current needs for the higher good. For example, if you're fighting with someone right now, whether it's the both of you or one person is causing the rift, if you guys are fighting together, a sacrifice could be 
you willing to step away from the relationship for a few days to let the dust settle so that way you can come to some sort of clarity on how to move forward even though you don't want to be separated from the one that you love you know that separating for a few days will be the best thing for your relationship so that way you can make a very clear decision and then regroup later on because the hanged man is all about releasing what no longer serves you so that way you can move forward in your life and i'm getting like a strong love situation here i didn't want this to be a love reading but i can't help what comes through this read don't worry i'll still get into your career and finances but i'm strongly getting a taurus that's having some difficulties with a soulmate connection um, but there is a person specifically going to be in your life in september that's going to help you get on your path in some way it could be unrelated to this person this could be like your family member a mom giving you the the best advice possible or it could be like you know a mutual acquaintance that you know helps you guys get through some issues it could be any of that now let's get two cards for your love life. We have Temperance, Major Arcana for Sagittarius. A lot of majors, holy cannoli. And the star, another major, and this is for Aquarius. Taurus, I'm strongly getting like a huge like healing take place between you and another individual. And if you're single as a Pringle right now, this could tell me that you've had some challenges in your love life in um, the months leading up to now. And maybe in September, you're meeting someone brand new to a cups that is destined to be in your life. And this is gonna be a wish come true for you. But I'm strongly getting that the majority of you Torians already have someone that you're connecting to that you love very much, but things are, you know, kind of in a very difficult place right now where your emotions are all over the place with each other and, you know, feelings are like being closed off and people aren't really communicating with each other on what their needs are. And you see how this temperance card shows this dragon, you know, mixing these two cups together? Well, the traditional temperance card shows you Archangel Michael doing that and what he's doing is balancing elements together fire and water and those are the two cups right here so it's the energy of you guys both needing to balance your emotions during this time and work together as a team to see if you guys can both come to some sort of peaceful resolution to where positive changes can take place for new beginnings or whether or not it's time to call it a quit on the relationship and let go of this relationship and completely move forward and choose a new path where maybe you're going to be single and looking for someone that is for your highest good with that star card. But I'm strongly getting a healing of a relationship big time here. And the fact that I've got five major arcanas here and I'm only seven cards in, that's significant. So let's take a look at your career and money and advice and then I'll get some clarifiers on these cards. Career for Taurus, the Six of Cups. Now with the Six of Cups coming up for your career portion, they're telling me that there's something that you always wanted to do dating back till you were a child that maybe you can revisit right now and it'll help you some way. For example, if you, if you were a kid and you always dreamed of being a nurse but you never followed it, maybe now is the time for you to revisit those plans that you were making for yourself. Or a lot of you guys want to work with children. You have a very loving nature and you may feel like connecting to children would be something that you would really love to do, whether it's being a, a teacher or a, you know, a children's book writer or, you know, a mentor or working in, you know, social work. It's something re relating to children or you going back to your childhood to figure out where you should take your, your career. And for others, they're showing me that a decision that you made in regards to your career recently, because the Six of Cups does represent recent past, um, they're showing me that you're revisiting that plan again. You're going back to some sort of unfinished idea that you had for yourself. Maybe you're coming into this month wanting to take a new approach to your career where you're being more creative, more, um, more connected to your heart chakra with that cup energy. Let's take a look at your money. The Emperor, nice. So in regards to your money, they're showing me that you're getting it under control because the Emperor always has, you know, a tight control over their finances and their career and their relationships. And you see how you are this dragon right now and there's this city that you're overseeing? 
Well, that city contains everything you have created for your life up to this point, Taurus. Your best friends are in that city. Your children are in that city if you have children. Your pets, your favorite gym down the street, your, your mom is in there. You know, it's everything that you built for yourself and your that's your main priority right now is maintaining what you've created for yourself and taking the lead in your life and not being a follower. So you're all about big bold changes this month and if something's not for your highest good you're open to sacrificing your feelings for a situation to let it go so that way you can get back on track. Because I have a Taurus here that's like hey I don't care how much I love this person I got to do what's best for me and this connection is not what I need right now so I'm going to have to let it go. South sacrificing it. All right, but I do feel like you are reconciling with somebody um, or you guys are working together on how to like move this relationship further if there is that true love that I see here with the two of cups. Um, but again, I do have some Torians that might be meeting someone new if you are currently single. What's your advice? The chariot, another major arcana. The chariot as your advice is all about staying on that open road, looking forward, not looking at the rear view. You, you're going to be met with opposition from time to time, Taurus, but the key here is to get back on that road. Because think of the chariot similar to you being in your vehicle, taking a cross country road trip. You're going to be on that road having a main destination and you know that sometimes shit happens and you got to take the nearest exit if there's like a storm warning or you know a detour because of a traffic accident and then you eventually get back on that road again to get to your your destination you're always on the right path you just might have some you know roadblocks along the way all right that's what the chariot represents and they they're saying to keep it moving forward if something feels like it's growing stagnant in your life release it it's not for you all right if you've done all that you could for a situation let's get your overall energy the nine of wands which is all about perseverance all right it's the energy of feeling like you've got to fight for what you want now i've got one two three four five six seven major arcanas here the last time i've seen this many major arcanas it was for a capricorn's um reading back in july so you might be connecting to a capricorn or you have that in your chart but this is a lot of big 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 changes taurus all right this is unbelievable and there's the ace of cups so you have a beautiful new beginning coming in you're just at this place in your life where you're at the home stretch and you just got a little bit more pushing left to do then boom you're able to release any burdens and troubles and have a new start for yourself so i'm going to start clarifying Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you'd like to book a private reading tour, the link to my website can be found in the description box below this video. All right. Spirit, why is the Six of Swords in Taurus's challenge? Why is the Six of Swords in Taurus's challenge? The High Priestess. Okay, this is uh, Pisces energy. Now the high priestess connects to the 12th house and the 12th house connects to what is a mystery, what is yet to be revealed, what needs to be um, trusted based on your own intuition. It's seeing things in a different sense, using your third eye and not your actual front two eyes. So it's like you're, with it clarifying your challenge position, you may feel like you're struggling with listening to your intuition during this time. And it may be because there's a lot of mental blockages that are keeping you from being able to receive the downloads that you're receiving from your spirit guides about what to do with the situation. Yeah, and there's the 10 of wands. Why is the two of cups Taurus's current energy? I mean, the love reading I did for you last month was beautiful. So something's going on here where, you know, maybe that same connection is coming through here, but you guys have maybe reached a point where um, things are getting kind of um, confusing about where to take the relationship next. Why the two of cups? Why the two of cups? The Six of Wands. So right now, you both want success in this relationship. You guys could have met each other in Leo season with that Six of Wands. Um, but if not, this is just telling me that you guys do care about each other a lot. There is a lot of love, but there is a desire to overcome any obstacle that comes your way, as long as you both are on board together. And there's the Knight of Swords, someone wanting to be honest. And there's the Two of Cups again. Why is the Death card Taurus's focus right now, please? Why is the death card Taurus's focus right now, please? 
the three of wands, you're waiting on changes. You're waiting on to see if something is going to um, change in a way where you feel like you are moving forward in your life and not feeling like you're just permanently waiting on something that's not even going to work out. Okay. And the queen of wands is here and the king of pentacles. Strong fire energy coming in for someone that you could be connecting to or water energy. I mean, you're coming in with that king of pentacles, which is telling me that you've got your, your finances and career in order or you know what to do next. It's your love life that you feel like um, is giving you a headache right now. Why is the wheel of fortune coming up as the people that Taurus is dealing with this month? Why the wheel of fortune? And do check out my um, recent All Signs reading I did last night because that reading, it feels very similar to this one. I don't know if I said that yet. Why the Wheel of Fortune? The Devil, Capricorn Energy. Wow. So there's someone in your life in September that is fated to be here. And for a lot of you, there may be a huge karmic lesson or there is something that could turn toxic that doesn't have to be toxic if there's open communication all right yeah two of pentacles going back and forth with somebody why is the hangs man what spirit wants taurus to focus on why the hangs man why the hangs man the four of swords look at that similar energy almost now the four of swords to the hangs man is the energy of pulling your energy back a little bit and doing some meditation, doing some resting, doing things that really fill you up and make you feel relaxed, like going for a nice jog or you know planting flowers in your yard, doing things that really ground your energy. And then this is where you're gonna receive those downloads that they want you to pay attention to in regards to this connection. And there's the magician. You have the tools available for you to create the relationship that you're desiring. And I do have the three of cups. So I do feel like you are currently dating somebody right now who is someone very important to you, but you guys reach some sort of stage in this relationship where communication is just not your strength with each other. Why is the temperance card for their love life right now? Temperance is also about divine timing. So there could be someone here that was divinely guided to be in your life for a big purpose. Why the temperance card? The fool. So this person wants a whole new beginning. They don't want to let this go. They don't want to see you uh, walk out of their life. And then for other Taurians, you're being very patient as you welcome in a new person in your life with that fool energy. Yeah, look at that. Two of Cups is back. In the Hierophant, Major Arcana for Taurus and the Page of Pentacles. Taurus, if you're single right now and you're still holding on to a past person that's not really communicating with you, not being there for you, you may just want to just heal from that relationship and the universe is going to gift you someone new that is going to be there for you. But again, I am strongly getting where there is a potential reconciliation in the air for somebody. Why is that star card here? Why is that star card here? Why is that star card here, please, for Taurus this month in love? Ten of Cups. You're going to get some sort of wish fulfillment connecting to a long-term healthy relationship. All right? Maybe this is where you and another person finally like learn how to work with each other and learn each other's communication styles and love sharing styles. Or this is you just being like, look, I want something new in my life and I want something long term. If this person's not there for me, please spirit, I'm ready for that person to come in and your wish is their command, it looks like. Seven of Cups. You've got opportunities opening up for you. So let's take a look at your career and money. Some of you guys could be business owners and you're trying to just rebrand your business. Why the Six of Cups? Why the Six of Cups? The Lovers. Major for Gemini. Some of you guys may work with someone that you're romantically linked to, um, but for others, there's a decision coming up in regards to your career where you're needing to make a choice from the heart because the lover's card doesn't always have to be choices within romantic partnerships. It could be um, making a decision from your heart because what's the best romantic relationship but with yourself, right? You gotta love yourself first in order to love another person. Um, maybe romantic is not the right word. <laughs> but um, the best relationship of all should be the one that you have with yourself and they're showing me that you're gonna make a very important choice from the heart that's 
going to really help you and benefit you on the long run. Okay, you just need to trust your intuition during this time because you're going to be receiving a lot of downloads this month. All right, and it's going to help you perhaps get out of a sticky financial situation with that Five of Pentacles. Now, what is this emperor all about? And for some, you might be returning back to a past job that you um, walked away from in the in the past, and now you're like, you know what? I actually enjoyed working there. It was possibly just I needed a break from that environment. Why is the emperor coming up as Taurus's money? The Five of Pentacles. Yeah, they're showing me that you're going to be regaining control in a financial situation. Maybe you felt like there was a lot going out and not enough coming in. Maybe you allowed certain people to walk all over you. Or maybe something with your love life distracted you from your main top priority with your goals. But they're showing me that you're going to regain control over it. And it connects to a choice that you're going to make from the heart in regards to your career. Now, why is the chariot your advice? And there's the Three of Cups again. Some of you guys are... Definitely connecting to someone that you may work with. Why is the Chariot Taurus's advice, please? King of Swords. Make a clear decision and stick to it. Like sitting in your car and realizing, all right, this is where I want to go and stick into that destination, putting it in your GPS and just going where the road takes you, even though there could be some derails aside alongside the road just keep it moving and as long as you're being true to yourself and being authentic and speaking um, your truth you're, you're gonna be fine you're gonna be fine and there's the page of Pentacles you got an opportunity coming in and just when I said that I glanced over at the ace of Pentacles so you've got a really stable off offer coming in in regards to your career and money I feel like and in regards to your romantic love life there's someone here that is a strong soulmate connection but there's some big changes that need to take place in order for you guys to overcome any obstacles and for others if you're single you've got someone new coming in that's divinely guided to you after you're coming out of a relationship that maybe didn't work out okay now wanting to revisit the past with that six of swords and the challenge Number 14, single-mindedness. Choose your own path and what is best suited for you. Pretty much what I just said a moment ago. Choose your destination, what is suited for your highest good, and stick with it. Stick firm to it. Keep, keep your mindfulness about it, and you'll get to your destination. All right, so I hope this reading helps. I love you, Taurus, to pieces. If you enjoyed this reading, please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, the link to my website is in the description box below this video. And I also am running a personal reading giveaway. Um, the details is in my last night's um, All Signs reading. I'll link in the description box. All right, take care, Taurus. Namaste.